I'm not one for poisoning. I'll tell you who is, however. No, no, no. That doesn't preclude you giving us the book, so uh, I think now is the time to go and fetch it. Oh, uh, don't bother calling the police. Uh, we have cut the phone lines. Nope. No, don't worry. You're both fine gentlemen doing your duty. Of course, if I wanted to call the police, I could have done so using my cellular phone, and so you could have spared yourself the trouble and spared me the repair. Uh, you, uh, using your what? What did you say? You said you could call the police using your what? What did you say? My cellular phone. You, you've not heard of them. Uh, uh, a cellular phone. It's cordless? No, it goes anywhere. You can call from anywhere. Uh, I shan't call the police. Never fear. I won't poison you. I'm I'm not a fan of poisoning. No, they're, they're, they're over uh, 750 species of plants in the United States and Canada that are either partially or uh, entirely poisonous. Uh, the uh, Best known, perhaps, is the uh, appropriately named uh, Deadly Nightshade. The uh, leaves, the stalk, the roots, and the seeds of the Deadly Nightshade are all very poisonous. Uh, primary toxic botanicals therein are uh, topane alkaloids, atrophine and uh, hyocyclamine. Symptoms, at least most widely reported symptoms, are uh, blurred vision, nausea, severe stomach pangs, delirium, and of course uh, buttercups. You've seen buttercups. Poor little buttercups in sufficient quantities are known to cause severe convulsions. <laughs> Other commonly spoken of and recognized flowering botanicals with similar properties are the azalea, the rhododendron, the iris, daffodil. John Quill, Oleander, Hyacinth, Morning Glory, Lily of the Valley, most commonly associated with funerals, all in sufficient quantities and surprisingly small ones of that have been known to cause convulsions. Mountain Laurel, which is in the same botanical family, was so potent that it was known to the Delaware Indians as the uh, suicide plant. There's a snake root, and it's a beautiful wild flower with long tenderless root systems, hence the name. Among the more illustrious victims of its highly mortal properties was Nancy Hanks, stepmother of Abraham Lincoln, who died after three days of agony from drinking milk from a cow which had fed upon this selfsame snake root. The unfortunate thing today is the fact that such incidental poisonings could not be thought to commonly occur as the snake root only grows in untended forests and not in modern dairy pastures. The castor bean is so deadly containing enough rice and toxin that a single bean could cause the death of an adult male. However, the bean has to be chewed in order to absorb the toxin, otherwise the waxy outer coating would prevent the absorption of the poison. And this is, interestingly enough, the selfsame plant from which the notorious castor oil, known to some who might remember as a killer, 
course, there is the dumb cane, a very attractive speckled white plant, also known as the elephant ear or the mother-in-law plant, which when chewed causes such unearthly swelling of the tongue and lips and gums that it cuts off all air passages and makes the victim unable to call for help and in some cases has been known to cause suffocation. Apple seeds, the extremely bitter seeds, contain the same essential chemical ingredient which is the active mortal agent in cyanide. However, unlike pure cyanide, that which is derived from apple seeds has to build up over a period of time. So sprinkling them as a garnish on food might serve your purposes better than a single seed. If that is, of course, your desire and talking of those things which are usually considered to be nourishing as opposed to mortal. The rhubarb plant, and I'm talking about the leaves as opposed to the commonly eaten stalks, the leaves contain enough exolic acid to cause massive gastrointestinal hemorrhaging, so perhaps mankind should consider the use of the rhubarb leaf pie before the more calmly touted rhubarb pie. Then, as we all know, the army ants will leave nothing but your bones. I understand, though, I'm not a fan of poisoning. I'll get the book.